Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Super Monday Night Combat Commentary. And just as I promised, oh we got a Gun Mountain gameplay. It's a relatively low scoring game, but um, it's like, uh, I had much better games, but this one I was, I actually got to record and, and for whatever reason, like for whatever reason, sometimes uh, 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 Super Monday Night Combat and uh, DX Story don't, don't like to work together and uh, Things just, I don't know, it skips a bunch of frames and it gets really laggy and framey arbitrarily. Like, it, 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 I, I don't know what's causing it, but... Oh, we got somebody in the chat saying somebody would eat nut, faggot. That's great. That's pretty nice, so... Um, this is an assault gameplay. It's it's pretty, it's pretty really low-scoring uh, gameplay for assault because assault just wrecks face. And um, this is actually the latest update. Um, I have a bunch of old gameplays, which I'm probably not going to upload because the frame rate's really low and it's a couple uh, updates ago. So uh, let me know if you guys want me. I can just sort of like dump upload those if, if, if anybody cares. But if not, I'll just uh, keep uploading the newer stuff and I'll just sort of just delete those. But... In the new update, Assault Fly drains as he shoots, which is, uh, I think, is a pretty good balance a decision on Uber's part. I saw it suggested a bunch in the uh, on the forums, and it's basically uh, just a sort of a copy of how uh, the Assassin's uh, uh, cloak works now. So uh, it's not really that noticeable. Like, I mean, it's noticeable, but like, it depends on all. The, it all depends on what you're doing while you're flying. Like if you're trying to cheese the money ball like a real douchebag, then yeah, you can't you can't cheese it for as long. So if you throw a bomb, you fly over their their money ball wall and try to uh, try to constantly shoot the money ball. You have far less time to do it. But in terms of running away from commandos and not getting grappled to death, then fly is still pretty good. And in terms of moving around the map into position in the places where other characters can't get, it's still that good. It's just you can't you can't shoot while you're doing it. I mean you can, but it drains incredibly quickly. So. Right here, his stupid sniper is getting healed by the uh, the combat girl. And since he has no health to begin with, he basically gets filled up immediately. So it's a bit of a, a hassle to try to kill him, especially when he's got his ice traps and his flak, and he's right at the very beginning of the match. He's protected by his turret. So so at the at this point, I'm not going to worry about him. I'm going to be more focused on farming bots and. Uh, and one of the things uh, I've been trying to do recently is to. Uh, to uh, uh oh, don't go uh, is to not do that, which is run out in front of lasers. But is to uh, try to collect the coins that the the bots drop because it really, really, really adds up. Um, if you if, if you've ever played a game with money magnet, you'll know that that all that money adds up quickly. So what you're gonna want to do is uh, try to let the uh, the bots get a little bit on your side just so you can collect the coins. Just kill them in a position where you can collect their coins. Because if you let the other enemy team collect them, then uh, yeah, that's just more uh, money and experience for them. And Megabeth is a real pain in the ass on this map. She gets up there, and uh, it's really hard to shoot up on this map. It's not it's not that hard on uh, a few of the other maps, but on this one, it's noticeably more difficult. And this guy, I don't know what he's doing. He just drops down right in front of the firebase, and I can't put a shot in on him to get the uh, the assist because I'm shooting my grenade launcher like a dope. Now right here, for the most part, I'm using my grenade launcher for the splash damage. Um, and the first, whenever there's still the slims around, I'll basically shoot at the shady to hopefully take out the slims before they get close enough, too close. That way, I'll get all the money for the slims. And also, I'm doing uh, multiple damage to multiple targets, so I'm not entirely sure. And right here, I tried, to, I tried to fly in real quick and uh, shoot, kill the sniper because I figured I could grapple him and bring him out, or just do a bunch of damage and then. Uh, paint him with some uh, grenade grenades as he's uh, running away, but uh, that didn't work out so well. And I kind of tried to, uh, I also thought that maybe the, the turret would shoot at my bots, but there was no bots there, so it kind of, that, that didn't work. But I'm really curious about looking into the uh, DPS of the, uh, like the assault rifle and the grenade launcher. Like I know the assault rifle is way higher, um, assuming that you're close enough to him for maximum damage. What I'm curious about is uh, uh, how many targets do you have to be hitting with the grenade launcher, assuming you're getting the maximum damage on the radius, for the grenade launcher to out DPS the assault rifle. So, for example, if there's a huge wave of bots, when is it better for you to uh, just grenade launch 
right into the center of the bots and just do like massive splash damage versus uh, using your assault rifle to, to like sort of tag them all individually. But I mean, early game I like to, I mean, I'm sure the assault rifle is better for actually killing them, but I use the grenade launcher to sort of tag everything. That way the, the blast radius hits multiple targets, I'm tagging multiple bots with just one uh, round and also I can do it a little bit safer, I don't have to be right next to them. And if I'm relatively close I don't have to, uh, like I can just shoot like this, but if I'm a little bit, if I'm at medium range then you have to sort of aim down sight to get the maximum damage done. And that restricts your, uh, your uh, sight and restricts your movement, so it makes you an easier target. Now this guy, what is he doing? He's not going to get away, and streak breaker. I don't know what he, what I get what streak he had, but maybe he was kind of stomping all over my teammates. But I checked the time, and the annihilator is gonna be up soon. And boy, howdy! Combat girl is really annoying. Those kittens, early game are fucking just obnoxious. You, you run into a kitten nest early game; they take forever to kill because you're a low level, not doing any damage. Oh, right there, what a stupid move. I, I I dropped down a little bit too far and then I couldn't do anything about it. Because I, I just wasn't going to reach it. Now I take a million damage from this chest, and this chest was a very big pain in the ass this whole match. Albeit he was wasting his rampage like a jerk. Right here, I really wish our support was healing. Um, he's not, he's kind of just doing his own thing. Because and, and if, and, and during Annihilator fights, as support, you need to be healing your teammates. You need to, and then basically placing your fire base to attack uh, the enemy. There's no reason for you to try to one on one or 1v the whole team as support. Um, and our support dies because he's just kind of not hanging around our teammates doing his own thing and they sort of focused on him, which. And, and, and I, in hindsight, I guess I could have been near him, but right now I'm basically just trying to pester these guys, get them to leave, and just sort of poke and prod at them until they get low enough damage that uh, they can take care of them. And right here, this chest is being a real annoying cunt. I go down here because I figured he'd follow me and I would just hit this and then I'm way more mobile than the chest is. But I see all these assholes down here and I almost die and I'm like, Chiro time, but all the Chiros fall off the map except for one, so I'm like, tight. So I go up, I'm like, okay, well, we definitely, I need to definitely be up here because uh, yeah, there's no reason for this to be occurring. I can't just let them get the Annie. It was a, a pretty poor bomb on my part. I thought she would back up, but she kind of just W's at everybody. So that that was a misplaced bomb on my part, and you're definitely going to want to land all your bombs because that's how you're going to do all your damage. Now, I figured since uh, we're not really we're not getting the goddamn Annihilator, I'm just going to push the bot lanes a little bit, maybe kill this. Make it, no, right here. Oh, this part pissed me off so much. Like, I don't know what was happening. I don't, like, I wasn't shooting. And so I switched weapons, and I switched back, and then I switched again, and I was like, ugh, and, like, that person should have been dead, that should have been a kill, but they just get away. You have no idea how annoyed I was when that happened. Like, my brain just shut off. And right there, boom, I get the Shelly, because I have enough money, and that's, that's new for, for the Shelly, which is something that I still think could actually be, maybe even be a little bit higher. Is that the cast time is now two seconds as opposed to instant, which instant was just ridiculous. There's no reason that should have been instant. But now it's at two seconds, so that's good. I'm not sure what the Annie's at. I think maybe five seconds. But uh, two seconds uh, is pretty good. I'd like to see um, maybe it be a little bit higher, maybe three seconds. Right here, I did not. I was unaware that the goddamn turret was still up, and he's gonna dive to the annihilator. He probably would have got away because he bought Regenadol, and I was he was just doing a really good job of like. Getting in the pl making it really difficult to aim because he's really close to me. I should have kept my distance a little bit, but I figured I'd go down there, charge him, maybe ring him out, throw him off the map. Who knows? That didn't work out, but he dies, and Annie, I get, a, get an assist, and technically that should have been another kill. So we got two kills that I should have had, but uh, just being a fucking idiot. As is my modus operandi. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's Latin for thing, operating motive or something. This chick, oh, what a dummy. Taking damage, doesn't know where it's coming from, gets charged, and she's gonna get thrown off the map. Goodbye. That's one of the instances where jumping down into a giant team fight is not a bad idea, depending on your class. For example, if you're Spark and their whole team's right there, you can jump down, flip switch somebody off the map, and then jump and teleport away, and then go ahead and do it. The real trick is to making sure they don't grapple you, because if you get grappled, good luck with that, because you're gonna die. Especially if they, they grapple chain you. 
Oh, she gets crook hooked. Now she's not gonna get away. I, f I, try I tried to shoot her, but the fucking bot's getting away. Otherwise, she would have been dead. Because unlike in Call of Duty, in this game, you actually shoot from your gun. What a novel idea. Who would have thought that would have been a good idea? Call of Duty, you shoot from the top of your head, which makes uh, it's the trick called head glitching a pain in the ass, where you just sort of you hide behind the cover, and all, the, all, the, all you show is the very, very top of your head, making you almost impossible to hit, but you can shoot other players. It's really fucking obnoxious. And actually, I think that happens in a lot of uh, first-person shooters. I think it happens in Counter-Strike as well. Anyways, I don't get the kill on that Megabeth because, uh, oh boy, because I ate a bunch of popcorn this morning. Yeah, that's right, I ate popcorn for breakfast, um, and then I burp. No, um, I shoot the bots because they're fucking standing right in front of me. Which I got, I got another assist, so that bummed me out. This sniper thinks it's a cool idea to, to do that. I try to go for a grapple, but I completely stink. And he bought pops of juice, so I don't want to deal with it. And his teammate shows up, so I decide running away is the best option. And right there, that's another kill I should have had. Is that sniper, but unfortunately I'm a big fat idiot who instead of just continuing the shooting and went up for a grapple as he was running away, so. That's th that's three potential kills that a much better player would have gotten. And I decide that it's time to buy the Shelly. And right there I kinda had a little bit of a brain fart. I forgot that the uh <laughs> that there was a cast time and that sniper was shooting at me. I'm like, oh I hope he isn't good, and he wasn't, so I didn't have to worry about him continually headshotting me. And um, I'm really annoyed because uh, I've got a few Gunslinger gameplays, but every single time I get a really good Gunslinger gameplay, somebody leaves like three quarters of the way through it, and I don't feel like uploading a, a leaving a lever gameplay is a good idea. I think it's a little bit stupid because, like, yeah, anybody can do really well when there's when you're fighting against four people, unless you know like your whole team feeds them. I just had that match where it was four v five. We had the person advantage, but my whole team fed them, so they were all like two levels above me, and so I couldn't kill any of them because they they also use teamwork. They pretty much stuck stuck right near each other, so there's a whole lot of nothing that I could do about it. And right there is an assist. I'm not going to say that was a potential kill, because it wasn't. I wasn't going to get that one, but... Now, I decided to drop down here, because I'm going to try to ring him out. But, yeah, that you see how well that worked out for me. I take a thousand damage. But, uh, fortunately, this, uh, this uh, support is an awesome dude, and heals me up nice and good. I think he had offense level 4, and I have defense level 1, so that's I got healed like immediately. Now we're all pushing the left lane really hard, so I decide, uh, this is what I, I always do, and this is really the main reason I die, is because, and the, that's the main reason that Gunner died, is because uh, what I'll do is like I'll see if that my team is on one lane, so I'll go to the other lane, but then I, I'm by myself on that lane, and like if, any, if two people show up, it's like sort of like hard, I can't deal with two people at once. Not many characters can, like, uh, depending on your character, you can kind of, like, uh, like, Gunslinger and Sniper, you can if you just maintain distance, you can just peck at them until you force them back. But, like, any other class, it's real difficult, like, you have to sort of, you have to gank one of them immediately, that way it's a one-on-one. -on -one. And, uh, by doing so, by doing that, you can sort of panic them and thinking, oh shit, now it's a one-on-one, -on -one and that guy just did that, and I gotta run away because my teammate just died, even if they still have the advantage. Like uh, your Sparky you jump down, flip switch one of them off. They die out. They get rung out. And now it's a it's a it's a two on, it's a one on one. Depending on which character they're playing, they'll probably book it the fuck out of there. If they're an enforcer, they they probably will stick around and fight your stupid ass. But if it's like a defender or somebody else, then they're definitely gonna run the fuck away. Then this guy, I'm gonna shoot him with bullets. He seems to think it's a good idea to, to stick around. I'm gonna shoot him, he's gonna jump up, boom, he's gonna get detonated, and I did not get the kill, which I don't know how. I get an assist for that. I'm the point, and I, st I steal that kill, because god damn it, I keep getting assists. I wanted to kill, so I charge him while he's getting grappled and get the kill for it. Because uh, that's how I get kills, is with burst damage, not by aiming. I watched a Sunny Dove video recently, and he he likes Cheston, I really don't like Cheston, and I realized why he likes Cheston and why I hate Cheston, and that's because he can aim, and I can't. That's really the difference. Because Cheston is really good for people who can constantly hit them with the Tommy gun, because he does a shit ton of damage. But for people who can't, his damage output is very low because he has very little uh, burst damage capabilities. Uh, the barrel is pretty much it. But with other classes, the, the gunner, I mean, you, you have a million, you have a, you, your bullets do a shit ton of damage, but you also have the slam and the missile burst damage combination. Tank, you have uh, Death Blossom and, uh, and Charge Burst Damage combinations, and I guess combined with Product Grenade, assuming you, uh, assuming they grapple one of your teammates, you can Product Grenade them, and then uh, 
grapple them, and then the four little explosive parts will hit them. I don't know what this asshole's doing. I guess he's trying to back me up into his, uh, that was a nice shot by him, though. But, like, he's, he's low health, and you know what I'm gonna do? Boom! That's what happens when you're three levels below me, and I got level four bomb, and you're a sniper. I take out, like, 40% of your health with one bomb. All right, here's a little trick. You can actually walk right where I was just flying. You can walk on the first half of that, but on the second half, you have to uh, you sort of do the bounce thing they added recently. And that's just a little tip to keep in mind. Uh, I noticed that when I was tank, you could you can walk on the very half front por portion of it, but on the second half, you'll bounce. And that I mean that uh, being higher always gives you a tactical advantage, but it's kind of tricky because if you're if you're up there and they have a, a sharpshooter, then if there's not a whole lot you can do about it, mostly because they will uh, they will just head snipe you. So right here, and if you watch closely when I'm flying, watch as the fly drains. I mean, it's nothing, you can do it in a practice match and figure it out, but that's what it does now. So I think, I don't think it's that big of a nerf. I think it was necessary to make the assault not nearly as dominant as he is, but it, it doesn't make him worth, not even remotely near worthless. I still think he's still the best striker by far. His uh, burst damage capabilities are amazing with the, uh, the bomb. It's really easy to use. Does a lot of damage. Um, his, his and his mobility tools are just fucking bananas. He's got the charge and he's got fly. Now, now I do, now I do the trick that I often do, and I just it's wait for somebody at the top of a lift, and then I just grapple them. This and then I do that trick too, where you just throw a bomb wait at the top of a lift. Now look, he's got no health now. Now he's got to run away from me. Oh, you're you're gonna be safe near your. Ah, oh, he, he pulled his head out of his ass and decided to go to his base. Makes me sad. You gotta be that sniper and hide near your rocket turret, son. Don't don't do any of that, you know, smart play like going. Oh, where was I throwing that bomb? I threw it off the map. Oh my god. But yeah, guys, go back to your stupid base. This map is amazing for kiting, by the way. There's multiple times where I've been trying to chase somebody, like I've been trying to chase a Leo, and he just kites the shit out of me, and he gets away. Like he'll he'll kite me. He'll he'll go down to the jungle, then immediately jump up, and then like glide around everywhere, and then. He'll just go to his turret and, and then teleport back. I'm like, God, you cocksucker. Like, that's the one thing. That's the big problem with me. Is if I'm not playing a character with burst damage, I get kited real easy because I have real bad aim. Which, I feel like it's getting better. But it's still not good. Um, and in my defense, I'm not a PC gamer. I'm, I'm very much a console gamer because, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. It just I always just thought it was easier to use a... Uh, uh, controller like it was just it was more convenient basically like uh, if I wanted to play a PC game I basically had to sit at a desk I couldn't just sit wherever the fuck I wanted to I couldn't just sit on the couch and just like lay back on my back like an asshole I had to uh, be a jerk and uh, sit at a computer upright right there I fucking ugh, I wasted my juice that sniper should be dead but I don't know what I'm doing not killing him apparently but he dies eventually and I uh, get an assist so there's another potential kill. I think we're up to three potential kills now that I should have had, but I'm just bad and stupid, so. So I should have three more kills in this match than I end up having, which maybe would have been made a little bit more of a respectable gameplay. I mean, this is still respectable. I go flawless, and I, sp I, I spend most of the time actually playing the game, and that's pushing bots, uh, harassing enemies, and uh, trying to win as opposed to just trying to like, kill the shit out of everybody. Which, I mean, if you do that, you probably still win anyways, because the longer they're dead, the longer they're not, you know, pushing bots and killing things. But you see, I actually drop back and I start killing these bots, and uh, uh, a lot, a few people I know that, um, that like, uh, who do really well, they don't do this. Like, uh, a few uh, players in videos won't do this, and uh, a few, uh, like, good players, whenever I'm playing against a good player and they're on the other team, like, some I'll oftentimes still pull out the victory because they're more concerned about embarrassing the shit out of me and killing me over and over again than they are about uh, actually playing the objective. And so they'll probably end the game with like $6,000 and they just never spent it on anything. Right there, I knew that we still we had the ante, so I didn't even bother going for it. And right there, I, I juiced to take out that Carl, and I figured, why the fuck not? I mean, we have all these bots, the game's going to be ending soon. I'm not going to build another juice up. Now my goal is to try to kill this chest before he gets back in. Oh, he had a sliver. Me and that Wascock just couldn't seal the deal. Oh well. Uh, but then I try to get an assist. That's the, go. Throw it up there. No, no, go back into your base. Boom. Oh, I missed it. No! I missed her. She jumped off at the last second. Don't let her get away. Yeah, she's not gonna get away. I throw the bomb so they can't retreat. 
And ideally, I will knock them off the platform. And I missed that chest, and he was so low, low health, I missed him with the bomb, so. And I'm shooting him with grenades as they come out of the base, so they, they're, they're already down health, which is just obnoxious. So right there, I go 8-0, 13, 149 bot kills, 7,000 bucks, level 13. 60 ping, look at that. And then look at me taunt. So yeah, that's a gun mountain. I think that the balancing changes for it were incredibly necessary with the Shellies. I think that now it's a much better map than when it originally started, now that they only hit one side and there's a cast time. I would still like to see the cast time be a little bit higher, but uh, I don't mind the focus on on that, but it's just the problem is that if you need, it's all about teamwork. If you're if you're just solo queuing, it's and the other team is like using teamwork and uh, actually doing a team fight over the Shellies, then you're it's gonna be you're gonna lose. So it's kind of the equalizer where teamwork will beat like an amazing player, but it's it's just if if they're using teamwork and they're all amazing, then there's there's just no chance for you. So right there, I give I give you guys my subs some boobies. Look at that in the chat, boobies for my subs. So yeah, that's this gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.